I was really inspired to be involved in politics as a child because of everything that was happening during the 60s, the civil rights movement, the protest against the war in Vietnam, and so it was really something I grew up with. And Congresswoman Diane Watson called me up one day and told me that I had been a community activist long enough and I needed to go serve in Sacramento, and uh, I had no interest in doing that at all. But she told me that at the time there were no African American women in the state legislature. And I certainly felt a sense of obligation when she told me that. And I was extremely honored when my colleagues uh, decided that they wanted me to run for speaker and then elected me speaker. Uh, at one point, we were able to uh, win a tremendous amount of resources for the child welfare system in California, and that was an extremely proud moment. And I've had equally proud moments here in Washington, D.C. But young women in particular, what I tell them to do is to identify an issue that you are really in interested and passionate about, get deeply involved in that issue, and then figure out whether or not you want to run for office. Women typically don't decide they're going to run. Other people push them to run. And so I tell young women that all the time so that they'll actually begin to change that mindset 